Hey guys, hi, I'm Cheryl Rogers. Welcome to my backyard. There's a lot here to see and share, but today I wanted you to get to know antelope horns. And we're going to go out and look at some because I want you to get down and look and see what you can see on an antelope horn. So this is a nice, big, healthy antelope horn in our meadow. And just so you know, this is Prima in case she shows up. Anyway, antelope horn is a milkweed, and milkweeds are what monarch butterflies lay their eggs on and the caterpillars eat. And we have caterpillars over on another milkweed. But right now, next time you see an antelope horn, I want you to go up and take a really closer look at what's on a milkweed. You'll be surprised at all the different critters. Try it. So if you get closer to an antelope horn, you're going to see the flowers more clearly. And if you get really close and look, you may even see some little yellow sacs called pollinia. Those are what the flowers use to get pollinated. Here's a honeybee that is carrying some of those pollinia sacs. Can you see them? And oh, oh, here's a bee that got caught by an assassin bug. Some of you probably know how much I love spiders. I saw this little lynx spider in the antelope horns and this tiny juvenile crab spider on a flower. Later on, I saw this crab spider dining on a fly. Poor fly, but that's nature. And then look at this beautiful yellow crab spider. I was amazed. I also was able to get this cool video Look what else I saw, a tiny flower moth and this beautiful gray hair streak butterfly. And here's an Eastern carpenter bee and a fly. We all need flies. And a weevil. Isn't it interesting looking? and a milkweed bug. They're always on antelope horns. And a pair of eight spotted flea beetles. And here's a lacewing larva, pretty fierce looking. Antelope horns are probably best known for hosting monarch caterpillars. We have several caterpillars on our antelope horns right now. You're a caterpillar, you're very busy. So this week, Carter from Blanco, he wants to know the official name of the stinging caterpillar and what does it turn into? That's a Grody's buck moth caterpillar. And yes, those spines can sting, so don't touch them. But that little caterpillar turns into a beautiful moth. So I think they're pretty amazing, right? Here's a photo of a Grody's buck moth. Thanks for visiting my backyard. See you next time, guys. Okay, so here's a nice, big, healthy antelope horns in our meadow. This is a milkweed, and it hosts monarch caterpillars. But you know, if you get down and you look closer, you're going to be surprised to see what all is going on. Oh, wait, here she comes again. <laughs> Oh no, here. 
So here's a nice big healthy antelope horn in our meadow. Antelope horn is a milkweed and mi milkweeds support <laughs> 